Yo, what's up, y'all? Welcome to part two of my three-part series vlog of my trip to Hawaii with friend and streamer Nagi Sake. First, let me say, if you're enjoying these videos, please drop a like, comment, and let me know what you think, and feel free to subscribe to the channel for more content. I know this isn't my normal content. In fact, this comic page you're seeing was the only bit of drawing I got to do while I was there, but I like to do more stuff like this if you guys enjoy it. Now, getting to the trip. It's day three, Sunday. We started with a sushi lunch. There was this one place we went to a couple of times called the Doraku Sushi Waikiki. Not only was the food incredible, but the service was amazing. The waiters were super kind and generous, and they all were very respectful and super helpful when it came to allergic needs. It's gonna be great. Got sashimi. The steak and shrimp roll, round two, baby. Holla at your boy, let's go. And also, the Mai Tai. Yeah. So originally, we planned to do the Waikiki Trolley Red Line Tour, but we got such a late start in the day that it didn't really seem worth it. So instead, Nagi decided to rent a smart car and we drove up the east coast of Oahu to Ahupua'a Okana State Park, but not before stopping at the Kualoa Beach to just take in the scenery. North Oahu, beautiful, beautiful beach. All in all, just look at that water. Wow. It's Monday, day four. Nagasaki was feeling under the weather, so I ventured out on my own. I ended up doing the Waikiki Trolley Redline tour that we missed the day before, but I'm not gonna lie, I felt pretty bad leaving her behind because she'd been planning this trip for over a year and I came along last minute. Plus we pretty much did everything together throughout the whole trip. So it was pretty unlucky, but at the end of the day, the show must go on and she didn't and wouldn't want me to waste the day on her behalf. Two or did you already do that? No. Oh, uh, this is the... Right here on my right hand side. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's good. I really wanted to show you guys this. Right here on my right hand side. Amish Square Park. Right here on my right hand side. So that right there is actually the palace where the last monarchs of uh, Hawaii live. So if you look up at the pillars on my left hand side, the state capital, the pillar, you can see engraved made on palm leaves on the top. Look at that. So this is the state capital right here. That is a replica of the original Liberty Bell in Philadelphia. That right was dedicated there. to Hawaii by President right Roosevelt in the uh, ship of uh, Token of Friendship. And you can see our seal on the top hanging. And it says, Ua Mao Kea Okai Nai Kupono, which means the life of the land is perpetrated in righteousness. That right there. That is a statue of Father Damien. He was a captain and that's a uh, Liberty Bell right there. He came here to the island. The tour started at the Waikiki Shopping Plaza and traveled by the Duke Kahanamoku statue at the Waikiki Beach, Honolulu Museum of Art, which we saw earlier, the state capitol, the Punchbowl Crater, Foster Botanical Garden, the Izumo Taisha Shrine, Chinatown, and more. Circling back to the Waikiki Shopping Plaza. These are just a few highlights from the tour, but if you'd like to see the entire tour, you can actually click through my description and find the link to the Twitch VOD there. I predicted, yeah, After the tour, good. I had plans to check out to other check places, out but those were nixed pretty fast because I ended up having to go yeah, back to the hotel as we ended up having to move out altogether. 
It turns out the place we were staying in, as nice as it looked, had mold, which Nagi was very sensitive to and had a bad reaction. And it was the reason why she was feeling so sick. So we packed our things and it's on to the next hotel. Thank you. Alright. Yeah, look at this. Here you go. Hey. Oh. Okay. Do you check it out? So that's look at the wait, wait. <laughs> That's the car. That's a regular car. That's our diaper. That's a regular car. All right, y'all, we're in some type of forest in northern Oahu, surrounded by nothing but green all around. It's Tuesday, day five. We travel back up to north Oahu to hike the Nakoa Trail in the Ahu Pua'a Okahana State Park, formerly known as the Kahana Valley State Park. This was Nagi's idea, and I gotta say, it's probably one of the more interesting things we did. Keep in mind, I'm from Baltimore, grew up mostly in cities, and work as a comic artist who literally never leaves the house. I ain't done nothing like this before. I didn't even bring the right shoes, I wore jeans to protect my legs from bites and falls because I knew I was going to crack my butt a couple of times. But even though I didn't exactly know what to expect, I was still up for the challenge. Holla. <laughs> <laughs> I'll videotape you. Is it on? I'm heavier than you. I don't know if it's going to hold. <laughs> Dude, that's insane. <laughs> that is absolutely amazing. On an adventure! Alright, we're here on the Nikoa Trail. Check out the map. To number two, or to number four. Which way do we go? I don't know. Figure it out though. Well, look at this map. Well, I guess there's pools if we go on number two. Where's number two? Number two is that way. You want to go see some pools? Sure. It's into the hunting area. Notice hunting season is now open on weekends and state holidays. Non-hunters are advised to wear bright colored clothing and stay on established trails so that you don't get shot. <laughs> nice. This is very cool. Here's a sign asking us if we want to keep going or if we want to turn back. What will we do? We'll find out next time on Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> I'll say one thing's for sure. This trail is wild. Oh, look at these. 
That's pretty cool. Okay. Let's not fall off the mountain. Uh, I feel like I'm playing limbo. Uh, uh, you did it! <laughs> Holy crap. Yo. That was insane. What the heck? I just went under that. Oh. Oh man, this is so low. I'm like ducking down right now. And despite how it looks, this was actually the easy part of the trail. Ducking in the trees was the least of my worry at this point, though it did do a number on my thighs and calves. Holy crap. I almost look like a jacket. Yeah. Yeah. Well, hopefully it doesn't come after us. Good news is, as you can see here, Nagi was feeling a lot better that day and blazing through the trail. Literally, she was flying. No joke. If you see anything run at us, climb a tree. I'm not even kidding. Okay? Uh-huh. Unfortunately, or maybe fortunately, nothing actually ran at us. We just crossed this river here. As you can see, there's not many stones, no sticks, no path, no nothing. We had to bear through, barefoot it through, but we made it. I think we're only about halfway through the trail. A whole lot more to go. Look how beautiful this is. We have just arrived at the third part of the trail. If you guys can see the we are right here. And we have all of that to go. But good news is we've already done all of that. Ooh. I ain't gonna lie. Your boy is winded. I'm a little tired. We catching a little break. You see the Nakao Trail rock there. Catching our breath a little bit. And we're gonna keep it moving. And my water, almost done here. But I got a whole new fresh one in the back. We got this, y'all. Wow. 810 feet above sea level. I had no idea what was in store for me, but to be honest, this view made it all worth it. So it looks like we are here now. And we're at the home stretch. We just have to make it over there. Keep going. <sighs> or we can go back. But who wants to do that? So we've come to a place in the trail. Looks like we're going to have to get wet again. So, shoes are coming off. Jeans are getting rolled up. Not gonna lie, y'all. I would record, 
but I can't risk falling. <laughs> if my phone was waterproof, maybe. But I'll turn you back on when we get to the other side. Oh, that's a lot deeper than I thought. How is it? it smells awful. Smells awful? You made it. Oh man. Somehow, some way, we did it. We made it across. I had to roll up my roll up my pants. Go barefoot. I ain't gonna give y'all the feats for free. <laughs> they already got the hands, right? <laughs> Uh, we're home free in the last part of the trail, y'all. Oh man, this was fun. <laughs> Adventure, baby. Let's go. Yo! So, this is the path that we just came down right here after we just uh, crossed that uh, river. And check it out. Look it. Y'all remember this earlier? We made it! Holy crap! We made it! We did it! <laughs> we didn't die! <laughs> we made it! We made it! This right here was the path that we came and entered on. So, right now, I wish I had recorded the time that we started. But it took us about, what, two and a half hours? Yeah. About two and a half hours. We made it. I'm tired. Let's go eat. Let's go eat. <laughs> so we conquered the Nakoa Trail. On average, it's slated to take about two hours. We did it about two and a half. But it's 4.1 miles and considered a moderately challenging route. So I'm proud of us. And then check out this view on the way back. All in all, I took a couple bumps, which I knew I would, but walked away with no bruises, got down and dirty, hopping over, ducking and dodging under trees, traverse rivers barefoot because I don't own any hiking shoes. Would I ever do it again? Maybe with the right person, but don't expect me to become Indiana Jones. Thanks again for watching part two of three of my trip to Hawaii. It was a crazy adventure and there's still more to come. If you're enjoying the videos, I would love it if you click that like button, leave a comment and subscribe. Thank you very much and I'll see you in the next one.